Hello everyone and welcome back if you're returning. If this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, hello and welcome and I really hope you do come back. So if you've never watched one of my videos before, I'm a seer, I tap into past, present and future energies. I'm an oracle, I'm a Reiki healer and I'm a divine channel. So whatever comes through in these messages come through, but chances are if you've been guided here for any reason, it could be because you're a twin flame, because I'm a twin flame myself and all my messages are twin flame related right now. So hopefully you find the answers you're looking for on your twin flame journey or this could, could confirm that you are a twin flame just by finding this channel. So I begin all my messages the same way. So let's do that. Calling in my heavenly ancestors, my spirit guides, the archangels of love and light and the ascended masters of the highest pure divine light. I call you in now for your love, guidance and protection throughout as I bring forward a clear message for the Twin Flame Collective. Thank you. Archangel Michael, can I please ask that you surround my children, my dog, my home and myself in a golden bubble of God's protective light at all times as I bring forward a message for the Twin Flame Collective. Can I also request, please, Archangel Michael, that you surround whoever watches this message online right now, surrounding them, their loved ones, their home and pets, and a golden bubble of God's protective light also. Thank you, Archangel Michael. Archangel Metatron, can you please stabilise the connection between myself and spirit, ensuring only clear and concise messages can come through for the twin flames' highest and greatest good at all times. Thank you, Archangel Metatron. Sending love, light and gratitude to each and every one of you. And so it is. Okay. Let's clear the energy. I'm hearing a song now I think it's the, the mature ladies and gents that watch my channel I'm sure will know who this song is by it might be Sheena Easton and I think it, I don't know the exact words I'm just hearing my baby works mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he works from mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, to find me so I don't know this, some days masculine can be working over time, knowing that you're waiting for them, Divine Feminine. I just heard someone can't catch a break. I can't catch a break. A uh, Divine Masculine thing, I can't catch a break. Mm -hmm. Somebody was ostracised from their community, from a family, for something. I'm going to start with my Pride of Love cards and I'll keep listening as I, as I use these cards just to get the overall energy of this message. And before I begin, I'm going to just give a shout out to Otter Spirit, my brace, beautiful um, crystal bracelets are courtesy of Otter Spirit. Otter Spirit is a company I've chosen to be a brand ambassador for because they, are, they have a beautiful website. They work to make these beautiful um, AAA grade crystal jewellery, which are very healing. They cover all your needs, your emotional needs, your physical needs, and also manifestation. And they also, for every piece of jewellery you buy from their website, one dollar goes to a special charity to help conservation of the wild otters in Monterey Bay in California. So, and if you're a viewer to my channel, then you'll find a special discount down below just by putting in my name and the number 20 in capital letters, Arlene20, and you can click on the website below and get your 20% your discount. So that's me done, my beautiful plug for such a wonderful little company as Otter Spirit. So, and all details to get in 
contact with me are in there as well and anything you need to know about my channel about me and about how you can purchase my oracle decks too so let's let's do this and thank you to everyone who's been purchasing purchasing my oracle decks i really appreciate you all so let's see power of love so someone can't catch a break somebody's been ostracized i don't know if this was you divine feminine or your masculine somebody was ostracized somebody can't catch a break someone's working really really hard on themselves but i feel they know you're waiting for them divine feminine Okay, what's the overall energy of this um, reading, please? Overall energy of this connection I'm picking up on. I just heard fated to return to each other. You're fated to return to each other in this lifetime. But I do believe it's a lot sooner than what we think. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll tell you in a moment what these are telling me <laughs> there's definitely some sort of partnership that's um fated to come back around here okay one more and i'll read the overall energy that's coming through thank you okay unity There's definitely a partnership that is destined to come back around here. Now let me get my spectacles on, get into my secretary mode. <laughs> so cooperation, willingness, self-love, patience, creativity, acceptance and unity was the last card that jumped out. So acceptance came out first. So you are ready to release control of a situation or people and lovingly embrace the rhythm of life. So I do feel this person has been ostracised and it's for being for their highest and greatest good. That happened with me. <laughs> I stood up to a, a family that had been bullying me my whole life and then I got ostracised by everyone around me, everyone I'd ever known, and it pushed me to go within, be by myself and really um, start to connect with god and with the angels more and that's so this could definitely be going on with a masculine right now as well this person has had to walk away from a lot of i'm not i, I just heard shady people i don't usually use that expression so i don't know who's saying that this person's had to walk away from a lot of shady people i don't say shady um so um I don't know where shady people come from, but that's not my words. Um, creativity. You love to devise new ideas, innovations and forms of illumination. So I feel this masculine has been hiding his light for too long. He could have been in some sort of job where he was just... Cause remember the song, I, my baby works from... And so I don't know if this person was just in a very tedious 9 to 5 job. Um, and their light was completely dimmed and now they're stepping into this beautiful creative energy. So patience, you're able to let the universe, universal energy of transformation move according to the loving rhythm. So there has been a lot of patience required in this connection, very um, knight of coins, knight of pentacles energy. Um, so there has been a lot of patience and understanding required here and self-love. So it says, you're, you realise that love of self is necessary in order to love another. And it's so true. If you do not love yourself, you cannot even begin to show unconditional love to someone else. Unconditional love has to start from here and then spread out, out the way. Unconditional love has to come from in here, first of all. And once you actually love yourself unconditionally and you've filled up your own cup first, then that love starts to overflow. And I'm also, um, there is definitely something here about my cup runneth over as well. My, um, so this person is going to understand the true, the true power of faith paying off in some way. But this is definitely a partnership that you guys are fated to come back together in this lifetime. So willing, willingness, you're able to compromise if the end result is always love. And that's what a beautiful message that is in itself. I love that. Um, if the comp any compromise is worth it, 
if the end result is love. And I always say love should be the answer to every equation. <laughs> Can you imagine how good math class would have been if every answer to every mathematical equation was just love? <laughs> the math teacher was like, hey, you've all passed, you've all passed. But um, there's definitely a very strong energy of love come through here because my eyes are already starting to water, which is always a sign of strong angelic presence, but also of strong love. Um, so there's a lot of love come through from spirit as well. Cooperation. In your quest to manifest the energy of love, you realise every person and experience has great value to your life. And that's so true. Like, every situation we've had, despite it being karmic in nature, has all been valuable to our overall journey. We have to have those karmic experiences to teach us those lessons, because without those lessons, we wouldn't be where we are now. We wouldn't have an understanding of the, the spiritual journey we're on at the moment. So every single aspect of our past, even the negative aspects and the negative people that have come and gone, they were all in our lives for a reason and everything has happened exactly the way it's supposed to. So, and it all leads us to this energy, unity. So it says, you understand that the love shared with another is amplified and has a ripple effect across the entire universe. And that's so true. Um, it's especially twin flame connections, that love is so pure and so untainted. It's just the purest love you can ever get between two souls. And when that love comes back together in this unity, it's beautiful. And not just twin flame love, just love in general. Even loving yourself can cause a beautiful ripple effect of positivity. So just remember that all variants of love is a very positive energy to put out into the universe always. So let me get some tarot on this. I don't have a lot of cards out here tonight, but um, as I say, I'm trying to keep my message slightly shorter because um, I know it can get quite long. Do you know what? I think I might get an overall energy because I, I brought some cards out just for an overall energy of the reading and I feel I've got quite a good overall energy, but let's get um, some situation cards, relationship situation cards, just to see. Because this person definitely wants reunion with you. This person wants to work in partnership with you. This person, I feel, was quite closed off due to influences around them. This person might have had someone else um, who was dependent on them. So like a family member or an ex who um, was dependent on them for financial reasons or something. There's something here. This person had to walk away from a lot of negativity. Shady people. Shady people. So let me see. Can I get um, a few cards before I get the tarot and dig a bit deeper here? Let's see. Destiny. I told you, this is a very powerful, fated connection. Um, this person was definitely the Two of Wands, though. Because, like, with the arms, but that just makes me think of the, the Two of Wands card, the two different paths. And this person struggled to choose the right path in, in the past. Oh, conversations coming in. I really miss talking to you, missed opportunity. This person, this person has struggled to make a decision and to decide which direction to go. They may have had to walk away from an entire community of people. But I feel this person has been ostracised now anyway from this community of people. And they feel they were worried now they missed an opportunity with you in the past. But I do feel they want to talk to you about it anyway. They might want to tell you what happened here. They might want to tell you that they've been cut off from everyone. So this person could be in a real hermit mode. Yeah, responsibilities. I told you I felt this person had some sort of... This person was snowed under with responsibilities. Whether it was a caretaker for their children, a caretaker for an ex who, who was relying on them for money, or a family member who they had to work to pay bills for you know like say for example they had like you know an elderly parent they were it's whatever i'm not saying that is the case but that's the kind of energy i'm feeling this person had a lot to deal with and i think now they have whatever happened here maybe they decided that they weren't going 
<laughs> like we just flew out the deck. I told you this person wants reunion with you. And I, I get a strong urge I want to make things right. I want to talk to you. I want to explain why I chose to not give this my all in the past. If I could turn back time, I would give it all to you. Kind of energy. They've had time to reflect. This person is definitely in some sort of pyramid mode. And I feel it's because they've been kind of everyone who they may have escape and sabotage and are replaceable in the bottom. Yeah, this person definitely sabotaged their connection with you. I mess up the good things in my life. This person sabotaged their connection with you and stayed loyal to another situation they had responsibilities to. And I feel now they've been ostracized from that situation. So maybe when they needed someone to support them, the people who they were loyal to turned their back on them. Um, I left when things got hard. So I think this person, when they felt themselves falling in love with you, Divine Feminine, they knew they had to choose between their responsibilities and their loyalties to the past or with you. And I think they chose, and you know, they, they chose their own path. Basically, they chose to go back the way to a past situation they had responsibilities to. And I don't think it's worked out well now because I feel they've been ostracized in some way. Um, they're in hermit mode. Yeah, overwhelmed. I told you this person is stressed. They've got a lot of responsibility. They feel drained. They feel nine of wands, 10 of wands. This person is probably too exhausted to reach out to you right now, but they want to. Mm -hmm. Definitely want a reunion. And there's that self-love again. This person is definitely focusing on healing from something. They're focusing on love for themselves. And that, as the card said, I can't begin to love you until I love myself. So this person's definitely focusing on their own healing journey at the moment. Chaser. So your person, now it says, I don't want to chase anymore. So you, you definitely stop chasing Divine Feminine. There's a new beginning coming in here, a new chapter, a new beginning. I think you moved on as well, Divine Feminine. I think you tried to move on. You walked away from this connection. You stopped chasing your masculine and you decided to move on in some way. And I think that is definitely what pushed your person through some sort of tower, through some sort of awakening, whatever this was. Your person is in some sort of contemplative energy at the moment. Contemplating reunion. <laughs> yeah. And how to mend this situation. How to mend things with you. This person was completely unsatisfied in the life they had. <laughs> Our love is always there despite the distance between us. Yeah. This person may want to speak to you about a situation they went back to. Um... But Divine Feminine, whatever you did here, it definitely has worked. Because you've got a reunion energy coming in. Six of Cups, Three of Cups energy for sure coming in here. Let me just get some tarot on this. Let me get some tarot. Now, whenever the, there's a card left on the table, I always check it out because usually that's for a reason and the death card's here. So there's been an ending. Somebody has walked away from something. There's been a permanent end to a situation. I'm getting no second chances, it's over and done with. So whether this is a, a behaviour pattern or someone has definitely walked away from, as I say, someone has been ostracised now. Oh. And I just saw the Wheel of Fortune. So this is a very fated and destined connection. I keep getting that energy. There's something fated to happen here. And I just saw the Ace of Swords. Okay. Divine Justice. It's a very fated connection of some kind here. Something very synchronistic. Page of Wands. I feel this person's going to come in and say to you, like they're going to come in a different with a different um way of thinking now. So this person may have shut you down if you try to talk about commitment or emotions and I feel they're going to come in and they're going to be the one to instigate that conversation because I think they want to know if there's still a chance if they have missed the opportunity 
Nine of Swords, yeah, this person is coming in with some sort of guilty conscience for the way they acted in the past. This person does want to come bearing gifts of some kind as well. I'm just looking at the, the armful of fruit here. There's, this person wants to bring in some sort of gifts. Ten of Cups. This person is going to say to you, um, do you still feel the same way you did for me? Do you still feel that there's a chance for us to, to be together? Do you still feel a chance that we can have a happy future? Do you still feel that you can you know, move on from the past and what happened in the past. Hi, Priestess. So this person knows that you're very intuitive. They know that you're very... Um, I know they, they can't hide anything from you. They have to reveal the truth to you. There can be no secrets between you and nothing. This person knows how intuitive you are and it probably worries them a wee bit as well because they know they have to come in and be completely honest. Yeah, five of cups. I think this person feels regrets keeping secrets from you in the past as well, because I do feel there's a reveal energy here. This person might have to say to you, the reason why I, you know, stopped talking to you, the reason why I blocked you or ignored your text or left you unread or ghosted you is because I went back to a, a responsibility. I went back to an ex and tried to work on things or something like that. Knight of Swords. This person definitely wants to come in with some sort of message of truth. This person might regret their harsh words to you as well. This person may have said something quite harsh to you, like, you know, don't expect anything from me. I'm never going to be the, the man you want me to be. You know, you're you're asking too much of me and I can't give you what you want. And um, they may have said something quite harsh. Um yeah, Ten of Swords. They may have said something that you felt was completely air shattering, heartbreaking, something that really made you see your person a different light and it could have caused you to move on, stop chasing them and move on. But the Ace of Wands is here. Divine timing, something is coming back around here. Tell me more please. Thank you. Temperance, again that patience. Something had to be balanced out, something had to be harmonised, and there's that death card. So, somebody had to go through some sort of transformation. You've had to be patient here because this person had to walk away from a situation. They had to walk away from, um, I mean, I do feel kind of people-pleasing energy where they were doing everything for everyone else, ensuring that everyone else that they thought they were to be loyal to was good. <laughs> You know, this is a person who's like, you know, their phone's constantly going, people ask them to do stuff. But then when they need these people, they're nowhere to be found. That's what I feel this person has gone from trying to please everyone to no one wanting to know them. And it's it's caused some sort of transformation or permanent ending with someone from their past. And this has this has taken a while. Taken a lot of patience. Six of Cups, I felt that this is, I was um, I was feeling Six of Cups and Three of Cups energy in my third eye. Definitely a strong reunion energy. Um, yeah, past life soulmates as well. So, so much more than just twin flame energy. This is like past life soulmates, yeah, the sun. This is a beautiful connection. There's something that's definitely sun makes me think immediately of Leo season and Venus and Leo. Um, there's, there's definitely some beautiful love energy coming around here in Leo season. Let's see. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles. So you could have some earth in your chart or you're just sitting in this energy right now, Divine Feminine. You have everything together. You could be sitting in this Four of Swords energy or your person is healing from a Queen of Pentacles. Let me just see. King of Wands. Who is this? Um, 
Is this King of Wands healing from a Queen of Pentacles or are they being silent towards a Queen of Pentacles? Another soul searching for a Queen of Pentacles. Clarify Queen of Pentacles. <clears throat> Page of Swords. Clarify again. Because that was a strange energy I just felt there. Mm. Clarify again. Queen of Pentacles. Clarify again. Page of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. All right. Okay. So the Queen of Pentacles is coming out of the Queen of Swords as well. And the Seven of Cups and the Ace of Swords. So there's some sort of justice playing out in a situation here. Now this doesn't have to be someone with Capricorn in their chart. This could, sometimes the Queen of Pentacles comes in as someone's partner or wife. Um, someone who might have been definitely holding on to this masculine for financial reasons. The, masculine's, the masculine could have um, went silent on you because of this Queen of Pentacles. I get a feeling there's a bit of manipulation, some confusion was caused. Um, she could have been watching this masculine to make sure he didn't move on with you, Divine Feminine. And then when she thought he was about to, she might have come back into his life. I think you are the High Priestess in this reading, Divine Feminine. That's the energy I get. <laughs> yeah. So this person really has been struggling emotionally and with their thought process because, yeah, th this person's been struggling whether, whether to take a leap of faith back towards you or not. So that I feel this person went back to an ex or, I mean, this isn't even the same energy I picked up on last night. This is somebody different. This is someone who possibly was they felt some sort of um responsibility to someone from their past who they may have had a child with or something who who i feel this person felt this masculine moving on with you divine feminine and then suddenly they come back in and started saying you know i need you back i need you back in my life you know i want to make a go of things and i feel this person then did that but this person has now been ostracized by everyone yeah Hanged man, this person's seeing things completely clearly now. There is no more confusion, there is no more manipulation. The person could have air or um, earth in the chart, they're coming in as the Queen of Swords and the Queen of um, Coins. This person about to take action on the woman they love. Now I'm just ignore I'm not I'm not going to tap into much of the signs right now. I mean, if I was to pick the main ones, there's definitely a lot of water. Pisces, Scorpio, um, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, Sagittarius, and some Virgo and Capricorn. But the signs aren't really important. I'll get some cards in a moment for the signs. But this person's right, getting ready to take action here on the women they love, who they feel is their empress, or who they know is their empress now. <laughs> Queen of Wands, so we now have a divine couple out here. This look, I told you, three of cups energy. This person is manifesting this reunion with you. There's some major transformation going on here, and it's taking place because I'm getting beautiful Venus energy coming through. Um so definitely something about to occur here. And look, three of pentacles, four of wands. I felt that now in, from the Power of Love cards, I told you there's some sort of partnership, some sort of team effort going on here, a willingness to work together, to cooperate, to be in unity and Four of Wands, Three of Pentacles is the epitome of that. And there's a chariot, an Ace of Cups right behind the chariot. This person is coming for you, Divine Feminine. <laughs> this person is riding in on their chariot, they're coming straight for you. They want this reunion, they want this celebration. They regret choosing, they regret choosing someone from their past here over you. Because all they've done is work, work, work. 
and they go nowhere but you're their ultimate happiness and look the high priestess and the sun i'm telling you you could be a high priestess but you're this person's happiness you are this this person knows you are yeah i just got the eight of cups six of swords this person definitely had to move on from the past but they've had to heal and you have had to have a lot of patience and understanding with this situation divine feminine but it's paying off <laughs> king of wands and the three of cups share yeah, this person and look the four of wands behind the three of cups well this person is about to take action i, I feel this person wants to show you like i made the wrong choice in the past i fell into the trap of you know trying to please people and thinking that i always had to be the stand-up guy but i think now this person it's just like, you know what, I'm actually putting myself first. I'm choosing myself first. And I think when this person does that, and I feel they're being pushed into that energy as well, to, to choose themselves, to focus on themselves for a while. Let's get some zodiac signs and I'll get a twin flame message. And I'll also get um, some heart and soul messages as well. So let's see. I'll get some signs and I'll get a heart and soul message and then a twin, a message from your twin flame. What they want you to know. They definitely want you to know that they made the wrong choice. They definitely want you to know that they felt foolish were manipulated into choosing someone from their past. Again, another card of self-love. And that's amazing. To I'm amazed at actually how many cards of self-love are coming out every single day. I get, I mean, I... I, I I am an ambassador for self-love and choosing yourself first. But the fact it's come through so strongly in this entire reading. So this person really is focusing on themselves. And I think it's probably the first time ever that this person has actually done that. <laughs> self-love and twin flame. So this is a beautiful twin flame connection that I think you're both focusing on self-love right now your telepathic connection could be really strong so cancer um we did get the chariot and there's taurus we did get some earth energy so someone could definitely have taurus or capricorn placements any other zodiac signs that are significant please i made the wrong choice and it haunts me i told you this person i made the wrong choice i was at a crossroads I didn't know what to do. I didn't know which destined path to choose. But the, the, this person chose the right path. It was not the path towards you, Divine Feminine, but they chose the right path for that time. Because that is what then pushed them through their awakening. And it, they had to understand the difference between their divine connection with you and going back to a toxic karmic situation. Because when they needed someone, they were abandoned. By the person they chose over you. Music could be very significant. We got the creative energy. So this person or you could be very creative musically. This connection is ascending. Which I definitely felt. I mean, we're, this is definitely a very powerful reunion energy. And there's that pie. I felt Pisces coming through as well. As I say, the main thing that I did pick up on was Pisces Cancer. Taurus, Capricorn, and Leo and Sagittarius. Oh, Scorpio as well. I got some Scorpio too. So, let's see. A lot of water and fire with a bit of air thrown in, basically. There's that creativity again. Definitely something creative here with the two of you, musically, um, artistically, something very creative. Oh, and there's that High Priestess card. Definitely beautiful high priestess energy. There's, this masculine knows how intuitive you are and how gifted you are in some way. You could be very, um, very intuitive, but also very connected to the divine. You could be some sort of divine channel or yourself. The universe is loving this connection. They are loving it. They are doing their best to guide you two back to each other. And um, you can be seeing a lot of geese, like flocks of geese. This is a very spiritual connection. Not only is it a twin flame connection, it's highly spiritual. Some sort of spiritual um, connection with you both that's very influential here as well to the world. Yeah, 
communication coming in. There's definitely communication coming in. I just, this person wanted to explain. They're definitely going through some sort of awakening. I feel that they're getting some sort of um, chakra upgrade, upgrade right now. You know, like um, they could be getting some sort of heart chakra, higher heart chakra opening or um, something like that. But there's definitely some sort of contemplation, meditation, definitely something about the chakras being healed. I think this time apart has been needed to let your person and you both heal. Virgo, so definitely a lot of earth and water so far. Um, that engagement ring's here. <laughs> A few of cups the energy was coming through loudly as well. So the engagement ring just signifies union as well and higher level of commitment. But it could be, it could be a proposal as well. So let's see. As I say, just strong Venus energy. New home, relocating, divine timing. Any other signs before I move to another deck? Any other signs? An olive branch is coming out. So we've got Virgo, Pisces, Taurus, Cancer. Split the deck on the peace symbol. So the peaceful resolution. New career, new horizons. So you, this person, or you had to walk away from a, a job or some sort of nine to five or something um, to step into your divine purpose, which I feel is happening now. Now -ish. this person's probably not able to work anyway. I feel they're in some sort of dark night of the soul. So, Divine Justice. I told you when I saw the Ace of Swords twice, I kept on hearing Divine Justice. And this is Divinely Guided and the Libra cards. This just tells me Divine Justice. Divine Justice is here. Um, Strong energy from Spirit coming through and Archangel Metatron's card of Rainbow blessings, happiness and joy in the horizon, and also 10 10, a new beginning. Yeah. I feel this person, um, they may have told you, I can't, I mean, I don't know what harsh words this person said, or if any, but I do feel it was something along the lines of, you, you, you're nothing more to me than a friend. You know, you're looking for something from me that I can never offer you. I, you know, I will never be that guy for you. I will never be, you know, this person may have told you that you're, you were imagining that they were your twin or your soulmate or something. This person regrets some sort of harsh words to you. That's all I can tell you. There's harsh words this person regrets. So let me see. I always find these cards so hard to shuffle, but let's try. Um, I love these heart cards but they're always so difficult to shuffle can i get some heart and soul cards please and then i'll get a twin flame message to close out this reading that one can i get a couple of heart and soul cards please for this twin flame couple thank you one more i'll take three three's a charm one more please That was weird, it wanted to come out and then went back in. So this person definitely has struggled to make a, a decision. They've been coming and then not coming and then they're coming and then not coming. But this person, I definitely feel they're on their way now. Um, this card signifies expansion and the accomplishment and success that come as a result of doing what you love or something that has great meaning for you. So I'm telling you this connection, there's definitely something you're both going to be doing together creatively. You are creating something of lasting value that will that will be enjoyed by others for years to come. A strong sense of teamwork and fulfillment abound. And I've been picking up this energy since the very moment I started this reading. This energy of you're both meant to cooperate together, willingness to work together, cooperate and let go of the past. Because there's something beautiful and creative you and this person are meant to do together. So you are an ocean of light unfolding through the infinite space of life. Through the space between each thought, you can see your true immortal nature, the oneness of spirit that dreamt itself into the, into the many 
is a part of you now, like a whirlwind from heaven and it appears and reappears in its endless forms. Wow, what a card. That is beautiful. That just means you're so connected. And I'm getting the Tree of Life energy, Um, you know, as above, so below. You know, heaven and earth meet. I mean, this is that is just beautiful energy. You and this person have some strong, beautiful connection here. So, beyond the light of this world, there is an inner light that always shines bright. Close your eyes now and be guided by your inner light. Feel it flow through your entire body, your thoughts and emotions. Feel it relax and heal every part of you. Listen and listen to the immortal dialogue between your soul and spirit. This is the never-ending story of you. Oh, these cards are so gorgeous. I love them. And the last card. Within each of us, there's yin and yang, feminine and masculine, passive and active. To have inner harmony, strive to balance all aspects of who you are. To align with your true nature, your true love, and accept and embrace yourself totally and completely. Again, there's that energy of you have to love yourself completely and entirely. Self-love is the key. Love yourself and give yourself so much love and praise and support because when you truly find all that balance within yourself and actually know that your masculine is never separated from you, you have that masculine within you all the time. We all have divine feminine masculine. So you're chasing your masculine, but when you stop chasing your masculine and realize they're here with you all along and that inner balance comes, that inner harmony comes, it reflects on the 3D as well, it effect, reflects out with you as well. So find that internal balance first. Self-love is the key. It really is the key. So, and that can leave another card of finding that inner self-love first because that is just another card from another deck who's telling the same thing. So definitely a strong energy of self-love coming through. So can I get a message from this twin flame masculine to their family to close out this reading, please? Can I get a message from this twin flame? <laughs> I'll read that to you in a moment. Can I get um, another message from this masculine? Three, I'll take three messages, please. Three messages. I'm really feeling threes tonight. Okay. So the bottom of the deck, twin flame signs. So it says, look for the signs from our love connection. As your twin flame, I mirror what you're going through at this very moment. Notice how we are very similar. We share the same visions. There is a, a connection between us that cannot be denied. We have to work on ourselves to be together. Look out for the signs of my love. I am sending them to you now. So this person is definitely sending you strong telepathic communications and signs and songs. Lots of stuff coming through from this masculine for you. So there is no one else who inspires me the way you do. I am so proud of you. Your achievements and gifts, your love really gives me strength and courage to strive for more out of life. I told you this person sees you as this beautiful, gifted individual, very creative, very intuitive, very healing. You inspire this person to want to change and that is a beautiful thing in itself. So um, healing, so it says, I'm healing from the pain from my past. I'm working on letting it go so I can be free to fully love you. Your, loves give, your love gives me so much hope as I'm healing my past and childhood traumas. I just want you to send me love and healing energy. So this person, I, I do feel they they have dealt with some sort of toxic, shady people, as I got it started, shady people. And they are healing from that. And I just feel your patience and love and understanding is so necessary at this time because you both have this beautiful connection. And I really I really feel how strong and how beautiful it is. And I'm I'm truly grateful I can bring this message for you, um, through for you guys. Um soon we will be together, we will be together in the near future. Our reunion is imminent. Again, that reunion energy. This person's coming in to explain a few things to you. And if there's a willingness to cooperate, it's going to be something beautiful. Our reunion is imminent and I'm doing I'm doing all I can to be ready for you. I'm working hard on myself to be a better provider for you. I hear you call for me and I'm coming back to you. This is your promise. This is my promise to you. 
that soon we will reunite again. I told you right at the start, this person is working on walking away from a past situation. They're working on themselves. Whatever this is, this person is working to give themselves a better life and a better chance with you. There's a lot of self-love happening. There's a lot of working on themselves. But I do feel this person is just working to be a better person. And the death card tells me this person is definitely working on transforming themselves. Um, now, you should never transform yourself for anyone else. But I do feel you are this person's motivation to want to change and do everything differently. So, And I hope you can forgive them. Because I feel this person didn't really do anything that wrong. They just chose to go back to a situation that they had responsibilities in. Family ties or something, okay? Excuse me. They know they made their own choice. Just go with it. So let me let me um close out in a beautiful prayer. Sending you all so much love and light as always. I keep you all my prayers, everyone who comes to this channel and brings your love and your light and your beautiful positive energy. I pray for you all and I thank God every day that I've had su such beautiful response from this channel with some beautiful people. And thank you for your emails. I will be replying to them very soon. I love hearing your stories and I'm always grateful to you for wanting to trust me with your journey. So thank you. So let's close out. Send those beautiful loving intentions out to this couple. I can't wait to hear who this is for and how the, how the reunion comes about and what happens. But I also send out love and healing energy to all the twin flames at this time and may God bless your unions to come back around very soon. So let's close out. Everlasting Father, thank you for this time together today. As we all move on with our day or night, wherever we are in the world, would you go ahead of us, dwell within us, shine through us, blessing all those who cross our path. God of hope, would you fill us all to overflowing today with all joy and peace by the power of your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Sending love and light to you all. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Namaste. Bye now.